I'm Nelly Mulema, I'm Director HR and Administration, uh, Kenya Bureau of Standards. My job basically involves people. It's about people, talking to people, sorting out issues for people. I'm, I'm a wife, I'm a mother, and I'm a career woman. And all these things are calling for my attention. So I need to be able to find a balance between my family and being a pastor and being a career woman. I think I landed in human resource by default. <laughs> Why by default? Because um, as I grew up in our home, my father was a teacher, so he wanted all of us to be teachers. And so my, my father believed that I should be a very good teacher. And um, he actually got me a job as a teacher. He wanted me to be a teacher. But the day I got a letter to be a teacher, I said, I'm not going to be a teacher. So I carried myself to Teacher Service Commission. And I made an appointment with the CEO. And I said, I got a letter to be a teacher. But I don't want to be a teacher. And he said, first, who brought you here? I said, I brought myself. Then he said, I know your father. I said, yes, I know you know my dad. My dad wants me to be a teacher, but I don't want to be a teacher. I want to be an officer at the Teacher Service Commission. I left that office with a letter from the CEO appointing me as a human resource officer. And that is where my journey began. My father pushing me to be a teacher, but I turned it around and I became a human resource officer. Now, when I joined the career as a human resource officer, many years later, I met one, one public servant, and that is the person who is my role model to date. That is the CS, Cecily Karaoke. I, I sat under Cecily Karaoke. She was my supervisor for seven, I think seven years. And my career life changed. The moment I landed in that organization, I saw a focused person, a woman who wanted to see results. No wonder I'm results oriented. I want to see results. If there are no results, I get agitated. Why it's not happening? My day begins at 4 a.m. where I have my morning devotion, my prayers. After that, then I, I prepare to go to work. And I leave uh, my, my house around 5.30. So I'll have my breakfast, and of course I won't have meet my family because that is too early for other people to join me for breakfast. So I'll have my breakfast that early and I hit the road to go to work. So the, the, the latest I leave is quarter to six, and by, by seven, quarter to seven, I'm, I'm in the office. Immediately, I don't wait for 8 o'clock. I start clearing my table in case there are things I left the previous day and then I have to, to clear very fast. But if I don't have any, I start immediately with the activities of the day uh, by making calls. <laughs> and people don't like it because I call too early to follow up on, on certain things. And by 8, then I'm able to have the, the staff who work in my office with me and we touch base by reviewing the, the previous day. And uh, when we have time, we pray together with, with the, the staff in my office. And then we start running the day. And my day is full of uh, people walking in and walking out. Because being a HR office, that is what is expected. People walking in with various issues and I have to attend to them. And of course, meetings, um, meetings, one after the other and especially now that we do not have physical meetings then the day is run with virtual meetings almost the whole day and before I know uh, the day is ended with a lot of things happening around me. Outside the office my other life I'm a pastor so when I'm not at the Kenya Bureau of Standards I'm out there preaching and I mentor girls young girls because when you mentor girls from a very young age, it means you are preparing them for, for, for leadership. You are preparing for their careers and they will never lose track. As a career woman, I believe in certain things. I believe in values. 
I believe in building people. I believe in enhancing capacity for others. I believe in um, leaving a legacy where I go. And so wherever I go, I want to make a difference because that is what God created me for.